morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessings, blessings, blessings to all the more men out there. Um, good to have you all this morning. Blessings of the Lord be upon you. I pray that uh, all is well. And uh, I know that all is well because the mercies of God have been renewed upon us. Amen. Amen. And uh, his blessings have overtaken us uh, because uh, he's blessed us to see a new day. To God be the glory. Amen. He's uh, allowed us to see uh, another, if you will, more Monday. <laughs> Amen. Good, good, good morning, uh, Brother Moses. Uh, blessings upon you. Thank you for uh, being up with me uh, this morning. Amen. To God be the glory. Uh, God is forever good. Amen. And uh, we thank them. I'm just pulling up some scripture this morning. Amen. So uh, this is the second installment uh, of um, our more our more Monday. Amen. And again, uh, we just want to be a blessing to the men out there. Uh, uh, we believe and we know that God uh, wants to do some some great and mighty thing uh, within the male population, and uh, uh, that's, that's what we're gonna do uh, uh, today. We want to talk about uh, knowing. We want to talk about knowing God. We we want to talk about knowing God, and so uh, everyone, if you could, uh, those who are. are joining with us as you come in, uh, please go ahead and share this. Uh, please go ahead and share this video and invite some other men uh, in so that so that they can be blessed. Uh, but again, we're talking about more. We're talking about uh, being more, being men of righteousness uh, and, and empowerment. Uh, let's start with our scripture, Romans uh, chapter number uh, 11 starting at verse number 33 uh, the Bible reads oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out for who has known the mind of the Lord or who has become his counselor you know, it, it's it's a funny thing that knowing God, it, it, it's it, it's it's very hard to wrap our minds around uh, who God is, uh, who God is to everyone, uh, but more importantly, who God is to us uh, individually um, as men. Uh, no one has necessarily known the mind of God, but we can know uh, the mind of God. Uh, James teaches us that if we lack wisdom, let us go and ask God because he, give it, he gives it to us and he gives it to us freely. He, he, he freely gives us uh, the, the knowledge about him. And Really, I want to talk about the intimate uh, knowing of God as as men. How how do we know God uh, uh, intimately? And it really it it, it really boils boils down uh, to submission. Um, I made a statement yesterday, and. Uh, I think it's a it's a very true statement, uh, and it's more men love, more men lead, and more men love to lead, but following God. 
more men love, more men lead, but more men love to lead following, following God. As I stated before last week, God has called men to uh, to some great responsibilities uh, and not necessarily anything that we uh, have asked for, uh, but simply because of uh, election, simply because, excuse me, God decided that uh, he would uh, make man to uh, to, 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 to lead, to, uh, to lead creation, to, uh, to lead, uh, his family, uh, to lead himself. Uh, but he, he, the way that he has done it, the way that he has orchestrated it, uh, we do it by following him. We do it by, uh, submitting ourselves, uh, to God. So who, Paul says, he writes to the Romans, for who has known the mind of the Lord or who has become his counselor? Oftentimes as, as, as men, and I can, I can say this because I'm a man, I do this. Uh, we can feel like we know it all. We can feel like uh, the, 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 the information that we have, the wisdom uh, that we have is the end all, uh, be all. And as a matter of fact, we can, we, can, we can show God a thing, a thing or two. But in all actuality, as Paul said, who, who can know the mind of God? Who, who can be his counselor? Who has the wisdom uh, to tell God uh, what's what to tell god uh, how to do something we can't even tell them how to do us we, we 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 really can't tell him what it is that we need uh as a man to be able to carry out um what it is that that he's placed us on this earth uh uh to carry out but uh, Paul, he, he brings up a, a, an, an interesting fact because God is God, because he's, he's all knowing, because he's all, all, all powerful. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he, he's infinite and, and, and we're finite. Uh, uh, how is it that we can uh, uh, put ourselves in that, in, in that position? Um, how is it? How? How is it that, that, that we can do that? And to be honest with you, we can't. We can't do that. But yet we can still know God. But it's all with submission. In order to be a man of righteousness, a man of empowerment, uh, we must know God. There, there's no way around it. Uh, if we don't know God, if we don't have that intimate relationship with God, there is no way for us to be men of righteousness, men of right standing with God. There's no way for us to be men of empowerment, uh, men empowered uh, by the spirit, empowered by the presence, empowered uh, by the power of God. There's no way for us to do that if we don't know God. And the only way to know God is to submit ourselves to him. It's the only way. That's the only way we're going to do this thing. Is to know God. Is to submit ourselves to him. Is to submit our experiences to him. Is to submit our knowledges to him. And learn of his ways. That's the only way we're going to be successful at this thing. And God wants you to be successful. Well, Pastor Benny, can you give me some practical ways of, 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 of me submitting to God? And it's really simple. It's really simple. We make this thing all, you know, all mystical with God. But God is a very practical God. 
He puts things in position that we're able uh, uh, to practice. But one way, one way, one simple way is when we're faced with something, we don't first turn to our own knowledge. The book of Proverbs teaches us that if we lay our knowledge down, I'm paraphrasing, but you guys know the scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, but we lay our knowledge down and we acknowledge God. To say, okay, God, I need you in this. It's a simple prayer. That's what I'm talking about communication to God. <clears throat> Before we make a move, God, I need you in this. I need you in this situation. Uh, I, I, I have this on this hand, that on, on, on this hand, and I need you. I need your guidance. I need your wisdom. Yes, I, 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 I can put together a solution. I can put together something that, uh, 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 that I think may work. But God, I want to acknowledge you. I want to acknowledge you in this before I make this move. And you know, God, he... He'll bless that. He'll honor that. And he'll lead you in the right direction. He'll be with you in the decision that you made. Just, just one practical. It's just one, one practical way of submitting to God so that we can learn of him. So that we can know him. God wants men to know him. God wants men to be intimate with him. God wants you to be that man. He wants you to be that man of righteousness. That man of empowerment. He wants you to be successful in him. He wants blessings. Good morning. Oh, God bless you. Uh, all the way from the Netherlands. <clears throat> Good morning. Blessings upon you. Blessings upon you. And I'm going to pronounce your name. Miss Natasha. Amen. Blessings upon you. But God, he wants you. He wants you. He wants you to be more. He wants you to continue to be more. There's so much more uh, that God has placed down on the inside of us as men. There's so much more that God has placed down on the inside of us. Uh, and he wants to cultivate that. He wants to bring it up and to bring it out. I promise you, no matter how great you are, you're only scratching at the surface. You're only scratching at the surface. And there's so much more that God has in store for you. There's so much more to you than what society says you are. There's so much more to you than your own experiences. There is so much more to you. There's so much more to you. And God wants to cultivate that thing. God wants to bring it out. That's what more is about. That's what more Monday is about. That's, that's what more empowerment sessions are about. And it's cultivating the more that God has down on the inside of you. You know, society will tell you that you're only a provider. And I need to release the video. Excuse me. I need to release the video. Uh, uh, from the our, our first more empowerment session, and uh, I believe that I shared a great uh, and powerful word of God. But there's so much more to you. you. You're more than just a provider. Society tells you that that you're to be a provider, but the word of God never teaches us that man is a provider. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
The word of God has never taught, hallelujah, the word of God has never taught you that man is to be the provider. You won't find that anywhere in the word of God. You won't find that. What you will find is that God has been named. God has the title as provider. God has that title. That's God's position. That's God's responsibility. Well, Pastor Benny, if man is not, I need to hurry up here, but if man is not, uh, uh, yes, amen, as we submit, as we submit, cause us to be more, Lord. Hallelujah, man, that's that's a powerful prayer, Brother Moses, amen, and, and you know that God, mm, he, he'll do it as we submit, but, 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 but God has called man, men. Uh, especially uh, uh, husbands and, and, and those who have the responsibility of, uh, of uh, quote unquote providing uh, for others. But God has never called us to be the provider, but he's called us to be the presenter. What do you mean, Pastor Benny? He's called us to go and, excuse me, to go and get what he has provided. And we present that to our families. We present that to those that we hold responsibility of, that we need to take care of. We present that, but the only way that we're going to be able to go get it and present it to them is we have to know God. We have to know God. We have to know God. Or we'll read the scripture again. Oh, the depth of the riches of both the wisdom and knowledge of God. The depth, the, 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 there's great depth to this thing. They're not thing, but to God. There's great depth. To, there's layers to God. And, and if anybody knows anything, you know that there are layers to God. Because the, the, the very thing that we think that we know about God, he has a way of showing us that he's so much more than that. But the Bible says in Romans 11, 33, oh, the depth of the riches, the depth of the riches, the depth of the riches. I think about Scrooge McDuck in the cartoon, uh, DuckTales. This man, he loves swimming uh, in this great mass of coins and money. And I, I don't know how he's able to swim <laughs> in the in the mass of coins, um, but uh, if it's anything like water, you can't swim in it unless it's deep. But the riches that we get from knowing God, the riches that we get from having the wisdom and the knowledge of God. It's great. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord? See, Paul is writing to someone who thinks that they know God, who thinks that they can tell God what to do. Paul is writing to, to, to those kind of people. Paul is not saying that we can't know God. Paul is not saying that it is impossible uh, to know God. Amen. I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying to be interactive here with the comments. Yes, that first lesson of more you taught freed me on this. Oh, bless God. Please release that video. Yes, sir. I'm going to do it. Amen. I, I'm going to do it and I'm going to get back to it. Paul is not saying that we, it's impossible to know God. It's impossible uh, to be intimate uh, with the Lord. But for that individual who thinks that they know it all, and man, we know we need help in that area for that individual who thinks that uh, they can tell God, God, what to do. Paul is just reminding us that it's impossible. It's impossible. But in knowing God and submitting ourselves to God and being intimate, uh, excuse me, with God, we can know God. We can know his ways. We, he, he, I mean, it's so, he, he shared some with us. Uh, he shares some with us on a daily basis. 
Uh, men, have you ever done something? Have you ever said something? Have you ever been somewhere? And the Holy Spirit just taps you on your shoulder and say, you know, God wouldn't like that. Excuse me. God doesn't like that. God is not pleased with that. You're so much more than that. It's knowing God. So we can do it. We can do it. Uh, let me backtrack a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to close out here. But God has never. We're so much more. We're so much more than what society tells us that we should be. Even on the 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 the, the, the spectrum of good, if you will. We're so much more than that. And society will have us to take, to try and take the position or the responsibility of God. But because we know God as more men, because we're intimate with God, as more men because we have the wisdom and the knowledge of God as more men we will not be fooled to think that we can fulfill the responsibilities that God has given himself number one men he has never called us to provide Whew, that's a big weight lift it off of your shoulders he has not called you to provide but he has called you to present and i must give this disclaimer because paul does mention about the man providing but not in the sense of the man uh producing <laughs> if you will producing uh <clears throat> For the family, or you know, you know, the the, the man creating solution, the 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 the, the man uh, uh, creating the way. But we present, we present, we go and get what God, the Creator, uh, has created, and we present that to our families. Is it hard work doing that? Yes, it is. But what a great weight lifted off of your shoulders. And knowing that this is not something that I have to produce, but because I have an intimate relationship with God, I have the understanding that I'm going to get what God has produced, what God has made, and I'm presenting that to my family. But we're talking about knowing God. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. To God be the glory. The Holy Spirit will correct us. Amen. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. You said that right. The Holy Spirit will correct us. Um, but uh, I, I pray to God, man, that you have been blessed. Uh, I pray to God, women, that you have been blessed as well, because we know that the word of God is our all-encompassing word. Uh, even though we like to, you know, uh, pull, you know, uh, you know, scripture and try to apply that to, you know, one group and that group. But the word of God is so vast. As Paul says, the depth of the riches of both wisdom and knowledge of God is so great uh, that all uh, can be blessed. All creation is blessed of it. Uh, so, men, I pray to God that you have been edified, empowered, enriched, all that good stuff that comes with uh, uh, the word of God, the spirit of God, knowing God, I pray that you've been encouraged uh, to know God even the more, uh, not just for you, but for those uh, that you are responsible, responsible for. Listen, God has called men. God has called men. Again, it's not a chauvinistic thing, but it's all about election. God has elected men uh, to be that, that representation. Uh, for uh, his creation, we hold, uh, you know, man is in mankind, and mankind is uh, the term or the word for 
uh, people, both men, women, boys, and girls. We're 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 mankind, but uh, God has chosen us. God has chosen us uh, to be uh, those leaders. He he he's chosen us to 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 lead. We're supposed to be able to lead creation, following God, and that's oftentimes where we mess up at. We're not following God, uh, but we're we're following our our own selves. We're following what we think uh, is right. Uh, we're following our our own experiences, uh, but we have to follow God. And the only way to follow God is to know God. And the only way to know God is to submit to God. And I pray that you've been blessed this more Monday. I know you got to go. I have to go get ready for work. You know, you have to have your own devotion. If you not, have not had it, I encourage you, men, to wake up and have devotion. Man, wake up and have devotion while, you know, while you're getting dressed, ready for work. You know, go ahead and have devotion. Sing praises unto God. Pray unto God. Uh, read your word. Uh, this helps you to know God. This helps you to be more. This helps you to be a man of righteousness and empowerment. Prepare yourself uh, for the day. Prepare yourself uh, to be to to, to 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 follow God and to lead your family, to lead yourself uh, to to great success. God wants you to be successful, and I encourage you to do that with your own personal your own personal devotion. And know that God is not uh, not uh, a methodical God, so it's not something to where you know you have to be you know laid out prostrate in order for God to receive the devotion. Uh, you know you can do it in the car, you can do it uh, in the shower, you can do it while you're ironing, ironing your clothes. Just know that. Just know that God is very flexible. Uh, he he you know he's very flexible. I understand what I'm saying. Please don't. <laughs> take my words and run with it and just say that, you know, Pastor Benny said that God is flexible so I can do how I want to do it. No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying, but uh, he's very flexible um, and he knows our personalities and he knows uh, situations that he allow us to be in. But anyway, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Let me just read the comments. Uh, amen. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be blessed. Amen. 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 Well, again, I pray that, men, you've been empowered. Uh, anyone who watches this video, I pray that you've been empowered and encouraged to know God and to submit yourselves uh, to, to God and be more. Remember, be more. Uh, men of righteousness and empowerment. Real, uh, excuse me, more men love, more men lead. More men love to lead, following, following God. All right, man, until next time, remember, if you stay in God, you will stay in control. I love you. Oh, and before I forget, please join us at Vital Church on April 22nd for the More Men's Empowerment Session. We're going to have a great man of God from Ormond Beach, uh, uh, Pastor Lawrence Temple, Jr., Lawrence Temple Jr. And I'm saying that again because I want you to go and search this great man of God out on Facebook. Friend him. Uh, follow him. Uh, he, he's dro always dropping nuggets. Amen. He's, he's a blessing uh, to the body of Christ that he's coming to Vital Church. Uh, not to bl just bless the men of Vital Church, but all the men in this region who will allow us uh, the great privilege and opportunity uh, to minister to you. Uh, join us at Vital Church, 310 Southwest. Excuse me, yes, 310 Southwest, uh, 76 Drive. Excuse me, am I saying all right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So 310 Northwest, 76 Drive, Sweet B. Forgive me, it's early. 310 Northwest, 76 Drive, Sweet B. Here in Gainesville. Lord, that we look forward to seeing you there. Then also next week uh, at Vital Church, we're having our prophetic uh, uh, training and development intensive. Uh, you want to be at that if you think, uh, if you have some type of inkling and you believe that God is calling you in the area 
um, of prophecy in the area of the prophetic you want to be there uh, go to myvitalchurch.org forward slash prophetic training uh, get registered we only have a few more seats I promise you we only have a few more seats uh, we want to keep this thing intimate uh, we want to keep this thing uh, uh, we want to keep the numbers at a point to where uh, people can, can can feel that intimate connection uh, with God and the teachers that that we have. We're going to have Elder uh, Mabel Coon. We're going to have Prophet Connie Rawls. And, you know, I got to beef her up, but we're going to have the one and the only uh, Pastor Demetria Childs, who is also uh, a great uh, prophetess in the kingdom of God. My lovely wife. Amen. So great things going on. Uh, so, men, I look forward to seeing you on April 22nd at 11 a.m. at Vital Church uh, for the more men's empowerment session. And men and ladies, we look forward to seeing you at the prophetic training. Amen. All right. To God be the glory. Again, remember, if you stay in God, you will stay in control. Uh, let's let's just remember to be more. Let's be more. Let's be men of righteousness and empowerment. All right, guys. Love you. Until next time.